Infinix Hot 7 Pro smartphone was launched on 10th June 2019. The phone comes with a 6.19 inch touchscreen LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1500 pixels and an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. Fingerprint scanner placed on the back side. This phone is powered by a 2 GHz octa-core MediaTek Helio P22 processor. It comes with 6 GB of RAM. It is also powered by a 4000 mAh battery. As far as the cameras are concerned, on the rear there is a 13 megapixel primary camera with a 1.8 aperture and a second 2 megapixel camera. The rear camera setup has autofocus. On the front, the Infinix Hot 7 Pro packs a 13 megapixel primary camera with a 2.0 aperture and a second 2 megapixel camera. It runs XOS 5.0 based on Android 9 Pie and packs 64 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via microSD card up to 256 GB with a dedicated slot. It was launched in midnight black and aqua blue colors and have a metal body. The front has got a makeover where the company has incorporated a notch on top of the display. The notch resides the ambient light sensor and a 16 megapixel front camera that supports face unlock. The smartphone runs on Huawei's homegrown chipset Kirin 659 along with 3 or 4 GB of RAM and internal storage. On the front, there's a 5.84 inch display with full HD plus resolution and 19 by 9 aspect ratio. The back has a dual camera with 13 megapixel primary and 2 megapixel secondary sensor. The camera comes with tons of modes and features like portrait, group selfie, etc. The Honor 9N will arrive in Midnight Black, Sapphire Blue, Lavender Purple and Robin Egg Blue. Realme 3i smartphone was released in July 2019. The phone comes with a 6.2 inch touchscreen display. It is powered by a MediaTek Helio P60 processor. It comes with 4 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Realme 3i on the rear packs dual camera setup consisting of a 13 megapixel camera along with the 2 megapixel depth sensor. There is a 13 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. This device is based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 64 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via microSD card up to 256 GB. It is powered by a 4230 mAh battery. It was launched in diamond blue, diamond red and diamond black colors. The Redmi Note 7S looks exactly the same as the Redmi Note 7 as well as the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Like its siblings, the Redmi Note 7S has a glass sandwich design with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at front and back. The display itself sports a full HD plus resolution and has a maximum brightness of 450 nits, which is good enough when using the phone outdoors. The display has good viewing angles and color reproduction. There are different display modes to choose from and you can also adjust the color temperature to suit your liking. The Redmi Note 7S is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. Xiaomi offers the Redmi Note 7S in two variants, one with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage and another with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. One major difference compared to the Redmi Note 7 is that you get a different camera setup. The Redmi Note 7S has a 48MP Samsung GM1 primary sensor with a 1.8 aperture and a 1.6 micron pixel size. The second camera is a 5 megapixel depth sensor which should come handy when shooting portraits. At the front, the Redmi Note 7 has a 13 megapixel sensor with a 2.0 aperture. If you don't mind spending a little more money, the Redmi Note 7 is, is a very good choice with amazing camera performance. The notch on the Galaxy M20 is underlined by smooth curves and has a sleek face unlock animation to go with it. The bezels surrounding the display and also the chin at the bottom are noticeably smaller than what we usually see on affordable phones. Samsung is using a regular TFT LCD panel on the Galaxy M20, but we didn't find it lacking in terms of quality. Colors are vibrant and pop nicely. Now let's talk about the cameras. On the rear, the Galaxy M20 has a 13 megapixel primary camera combined with a 5 megapixel secondary wide angle shooter. On the front, you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The primary rear camera sensor is a decent performer. We managed to get well balanced shots in proper lighting, and the Galaxy M20 performed a bit better than other budget phones. The Samsung Galaxy M20 is a big leap forward as far as affordable Samsung phones go. It has a trendy Infinity V display, offers solid battery backup, covers basic like HD streaming.